What's up YouTube, it's Jerome aka Master Shake and before we get started I would like to remind everyone to hit that like button, subscribe to this channel and tap that notification bell so you are notified whenever I go live or upload a new video. So it's been a while since I've uploaded some coding. So as you all know I have a discord server, the Master Coder server and there are a lot of tasks that I need automated with the use of bots. So I could use some stuff that's already out there or pay for some software or I could write my own. The first thing I wanted to decide to do was create a Twitter bot, Twitter Discord bot that basically using the streaming API will follow all of my tweets and then post them into my Twitter channel on my Master Coders server. So we're going to be writing this in Node.js using the Discord.js and the Twit. Uh, Twitter package. So without further ado, let's get started. back and now we are ready to get started on our app now the first two things you want to do is create your discord application and create your Twitter application uh, for Twitter you're going to need to apply for an app developer account but it's assuming that you have done all that you basically create a new app um, which here we've already created the app called master coders bot you can hit details um, and basically we'll need the keys and tokens from here the API key, API secret key, the access token, the access token secret. But over on the discord side we head over to the discord developer portal and we create a new application once again I made master coders. Here we want to create a bot and then um, what we're going to need is this token and we're going to need to give the bot permissions is going to need administrative permissions we need to set up the OAuth uh, we'll basically get set up a redirect URL we'll make a URL generator using our redirect URL we want to give it a bot scope and give the bot administrator privileges and then here you'll see it'll create at OAuth link for you to copy. You copy it, you paste it in. You'll it'll ask you to sign into your server, master coders, and I've already done all this, so I don't need to do it again. But basically, hit continue, and it'll sign your bot into your server. So once we have that set up now we're ready to actually create our node application and set up our dependencies this application will use three dependencies the first one being the env which is how we will load our configuration files so that we won't have to hard code in our api tokens and user ids etc etc the next package that we will be using is the twit package which is a Twitter REST and streaming API wrapper for Node.js. It's extremely useful for using the streaming API which we will be using. And then finally we want to use the discord.js package which allows us to connect to our discord client and basically run our commands. So the first thing we want to do we're going to create a uh, we're going to we're going to create a directory I've already created one called Discord Twitter bot and inside this directory we're going to uh, first install our dependency so we're going to do an npm install dash dash save and then we're going to install dot env we're going to install 
discord.js and we're also going to install twit. I already have this installed so nothing should install new for me but after everything is said and done we are now ready to create our actual um, file so in this example I made a main.js file and this file will hold all the logic needed to create our discord twitter bot and as you can see it is only 32 lines long so the first thing we want to do is we're going to require our .env package because, like I said, our .env, uh, the .env package takes a .env file and it loads those those environment variables into our process environment so that we can call them in our script. So I created a .env.example file because I don't want to commit my pro my actual data to git so in my git ignore i have the dot env file as you can see here and when you will if someone is going to install this via git they can just simply do a cp command and copy the dot env file dot env dot example to the dot env so in this dot env dot example file we have the twitter consumer key the twitter consumer secret the Twitter access token, the Twitter access token secret, the Twitter user ID, which will be the ID of the Twitter user that we want to follow their status updates. We need the Discord token and the Discord channel ID, which I'll show you how to get in just a second. So after we load the configuration file, we want to instantiate Oh, we want to bring in all of our dependencies for Twit, Discord JS, and instantiate a new Discord client. Afterwards, we want to instantiate our Twit client, and and this is basically here we are just loading our .env environment variables. So we need the consumer key, which we get from process.env.twitter consumer key, which maps to Twitter.consumer key in our .env. We need the consumer secret the access token and the access token secret and then the timeout in milliseconds and the strict SSL are both optional but I suggest you set that to the default values of um, six, uh, 60,000 milliseconds and strict SSL so afterwards we want to log into our client and this will use our discord token from our .env environment variable file and once we call this login function, we are ready for the Discord client to start receiving data and pushing out data. So the client uses is, is uh, event driven. So once the client is ready, which is the on ready event or once ready event, we want to initiate a Twitter stream. So we do this by calling the t.stream method on the twit um, module <clears throat> and here we want to pass in statuses slash filter which means we're going to basically uh, filter statuses based off following the user ID of our Twitter user and you can go and find your Twitter user ID by simply doing a uh, Google search and there's this cool app called commentpicker.com slash twitter dash id dot php you can simply put in your username in this case I'll put master shake 08 as that's my Twitter account and you'll get the user ID and you see here your Twitter user ID is this so basically you'll just copy this and you'll put that into your environment uh, variable for the Twitter user ID right here. So after we create the stream, the stream is also event driven. So on tweet, so basically every time we get a tweet from the Twitter stream that matches this filter, which is our user status or our uh, user ID, I want to get the URL. So we build the URL by 
by taking https slash twitter.com and then we concatenate the username then we concatenate forward slash status and then we concatenate the ID string of the tweet and if you look on the Twitter developer API you can see the JSON structure of a, of a tweet and we basically want to grab the ID string so if you want to go to a specific status you go to twitter.com slash the username slash status slash status ID and then <laughs> what we want to do <clears throat> is then we want to do a try catch block and what we're going to do is we're going to get all of the channels we're going to fetch the channel that we want from the discord so let me head over to discord so if you want to be able to get the channel ID you first need to enable developer mode so we go to settings and then we go to what is it at? appearance you go down and you go to advanced developer mode and you make sure it's enabled once you do that you can head over to your channel <clears throat> in this case I want to grab my Twitter channel you can right click and hit copy ID <clears throat> after you copy that ID we want to put that into the discord channel ID environment variable <clears throat> in the .env file so we use the client.channels.fetch method. We pass in the channel ID, and that is a promise. So once we get the channel, we want to send a message to the channel with that URL, which we simply do with the channel.send method. So once we grab the channel, we fetch the channel, we have the channel, we send the message with the URL that we just created. And if there's an error, we console.log it. And if there's a general error with the try catch we console.log that and that is essentially it so let's do a test I, uh, I already have it running on my digital ocean instance so I'm gonna bring up discord I'm I'll make sure I'm I'm in the Twitter channel and I'm gonna head over to Twitter This is a test for my video latest YouTube video. Hashtag code life. So if I hit tweet and then I head over back to the Discord, we'll just wait a second. Boom! You see Master Coders, my bot, has sent a message to the Twitter channel with my tweet and this is essentially how we run this so once again we want to copy the dot we will basically want to copy the dot env dot example to your dot env now of course if you're writing this from scratch you can skip this and just create your dot env but since I made this an open source github package if you do a git clone it's not going to have my .env in there it's going to have the .env.example so you want to copy the .env.example to .env and then you fill in that .env with the appropriate um, variables and that's essentially it guys and gals I appreciate your time if you want me to do another tutorial on another type of discord bot or any type of bot in particular please leave a comment below and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so one without anything further ado all you have to do to run this is type in node main.js you'll have your loop and then you run your commands and like i said i already have this running on my digital ocean service so there's no reason for me to run it locally and everyone if you want to see the source code for yourself you can head over to my github it is github.com forward slash master shake forward slash discord twitter bot and if you look at the readme it basically tells you how to run it git clone npm install cp.env.example to .env and then set the values for twitter and discord apis in your .env 
and basically run it by running node.main node main.js. Thank you everyone. I am making this an NPM package. Uh, when I'm finished with it, you'll be able to you know run it at globally and install it on your servers. So once again everyone please share this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Peace out, code life.